We're coming down from a solar storm fizzle that didn't do much but ruffle Earth's feathers just a little bit. And region 2696 fires off a parting shot before it rotates behind the sun's west limb as if to get solar flux just that last little boost. Those stories and more in the news this week. The space weather this week is really putting the brakes on. We're coming down from a solar storm fizzle from some fast wind from this coronal hole, this big, long diagonal coronal hole that just never really hit us kind of at the right angle. The fast wind kind of eased on and then eased off. And that's been over the past few days. We've had nothing but basically unsettled conditions. The good news is that the amateur radio band stayed pretty good most of the time. We only had aurora at high latitudes, so there weren't a lot of GPS disruptions either. But now that is beginning to wane. And meanwhile, we have region 2696. That region actually fired off a, a solar flare and a non-Earth directed solar storm right before it disappeared around the west limb. But what that means now is we have a spotless sun again. So the solar flux is beginning to drop. We're sitting right at the bottom of marginal conditions for amateur radio propagation. And this is going to continue to be the story easily for the next two weeks. Switching to our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are beginning to come down from that fast wind that's been hitting us over the past few days. And we're actually seeing something in the solar wind that might actually be part of a stealthy solar storm that we're clipping the edge of. So we might actually have a bit of active conditions before we completely calm down over the next day. Now at high latitudes, NOAA is expecting unsettled conditions with about a 20% chance of a minor storm for the next few days before we calm down. At mid latitudes, we're really expecting normal to unsettled conditions with only a 10% chance of active conditions. But like I said, we're seeing something right now in the solar wind that looks like it might actually be part of a stealthy solar storm or something like that. So it wouldn't surprise me one bit if we actually reached active conditions, maybe even down at mid-latitudes, for a short while uh, before we're completely out of this, which should be in the next day or two. Switching to our solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, this is where it begins to get a little bleak, especially for you amateur radio operators. Now, we have absolutely no risk for solar flares right now. We have a spotless sun, so we don't have any radio blackouts to worry about, which makes both amateur radio operators and emergency responders and GPS users very, very happy. But where things kind of start looking bad is when we take a look at the solar flux. We do have the marginal conditions right now, but as you can see, it's going to tank into poor conditions here within the next couple days. And as it does that, we've actually looked at the backside of the sun for their stereo observations, and we don't see any active regions on the backside of the sun either. So unfortunately, this may mean we are going to stay at poor conditions for amateur radio propagation for easily the next two weeks, maybe even longer. So the space weather this week is really beginning to quiet down. We are coming down from a solar storm that's pretty much of a fizzle, but you aurora photographers, you might get one extra bump in activity from whatever this disturbance is that we're beginning to see in the solar wind right now. It might be a stealthy solar storm that we're clipping the edge of. It's kind of hard to tell. So we might actually bump back up to active conditions maybe over the next 24 hours or so, especially at high latitudes. But that will begin to wane here in the next few days and things will begin to quiet down uh, easily for a week after that. Now you amateur radio operators, you don't probably get much of a bump in activity. Things are beginning to wane for you right now. We are beginning to dip close to the poor conditions and it probably will move into poor conditions for radio propagation here in the next few days. And what's unfortunate is that it looks like it's going to remain that way easily for two weeks, maybe even three weeks. So let's hope that the sun pops out some new active regions that can play some peekaboo for us and brighten up the sun a little bit. Otherwise, we're going to be dealing with these conditions for quite some time. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.